morning guys this is not gonna work i'm trying to put you guys in an area where you can see me and that's not good hold on okay well anywho i don't have my tripod i have not picked it up yet from the last vlog i told you guys that the one that i had um it just doesn't work anymore and i haven't picked it up yet i haven't bought one yet but i'm still going um one of my friends told me that they have this really nice one at 99 cent store now 99 cent store is 3.99 and you put it on your dashboard and i think it has this really uh, strong adhesive tape or glue and it sticks <coughs> excuse me it sticks on really really good and it's very hard to remove now i told her i said well i don't know 99 cent store that's not really a a good quality store and it might you know it might come off and she said no it, it it's very strong and it holds very well she tried to remove it off of i guess some other car or something and she said it was very difficult to remove now i don't know if i want to get that because um when we get another car if i can't take this thing off the dashboard then i don't know i don't know what the dealership would do <laughs> I don't know if they would say, well, you have to remove it or else, you know. So, I don't want to be be in a situation like that. But I might go by and try it. She said it's $3.99 and it's a really nice one. And they they sell that same one on Amazon. But at least this one is cheaper from $99. So, I may try it. I just finished eating my breakfast, which is a banana, and I had a coffee. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day. I am. Tis the season to be jolly. Ooh, I wish I could stop shaking this foam. <clears throat> Let me do it like that. I hope that's good now. But anyway, I'm at my oncologist appointment today at City of Hope, where I get my yearly uh, mammograms and my yearly doctor um follow-up visit and i had a good report from my mam mammogram everything was normal hallelujah praise the lord so i'm here and it says city of hope so um yeah i'm going there to visit my doctor it's been a year but you know it feels like it's been two or three years i don't know why it feels like it's been that long it just does to me and when I came here and I drove in the place, it just reminded me, took me back in 09 when I was going through chemo and radiation and, excuse me, and all of that. It just, it just brought me back to that place. I mean, not a place where I want to be thinking about, but thank God I have the victory. But I'm just sitting in the car waiting for my appointment because I had... Um, Actually, I've got 10 minutes. I better go in in a few minutes. I just want to pop on and say hello to everybody. I was going to go into Walmart and buy some wrapping paper. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I need some wrapping paper that's not Dollar Tree. Because normally I go to Dollar Tree. But I, I need to, to wrap up some boxes. Some, you know, fairly large boxes. And put them under the tree. So I need some good quality paper this time. And I need a lot of it. Plus I've got to wrap a few gifts. So I'm hoping that the one that I have is enough. And oh uh, man. I meant to show you guys. I want to show you guys what I got. But it's in the back seat. Um, I try to show you after my appointment. When I end up going to Rite Aid. Now Rite Aid is expensive. But I got 75% off of everything. So, and also I picked up this, um, oh, this cute little doggy little um, Santa outfit for my daughter's daughter. I mean, my daughter's dog. Like, can you imagine? I said my daughter's daughter. Well, hey, I'm calling that in existence, you know. She doesn't have any children yet, but oh gosh, when she does, or if she does... I'm going to be so excited, proud grandmother, oh gosh, because I want to be a grandmother. I really, really do, and I hope I'm blessed to have that opportunity because uh, I love little babies. I love babies and small little kitties. 
Oh, but anywho, she has a dog, a really tiny dog. And I was roaming through the aisles of the Christmas decor and I saw this and I said, oh my gosh, this is just like as if I had a grandchild, you know, buying something for the grandchild, you know, what grandmothers do. And I just picked it up and I, I hope she takes it. I hope she likes it. It's too cute to, to leave at that uh, place. It's just too cute. So I picked it up and I'm going to, you know, meet with her soon so she can come get it. So it's so cute. Wait till I show you guys. But I'm going to have to go in in a minute. But I want to share one other thing. Now, I'm a married woman. <clears throat> Happily married at that. But I was in the aisle, you know, minding my business in the Christmas aisles. And this guy came up to me very humbly and quiet, you know. I almost didn't hear what he said. He said, excuse me, excuse me. And I was like, you know, like trying to listen in because he says so quietly. And he gave me a compliment. He says, I just want to let you know that you look so lovely today. And, and he asked me, could he take me out? And I said, no, you may not because I'm happily married. And he said, oh, he says, oh, man. <laughs> but I haven't had anybody to come up to me come on to me like that in a long time and I wasn't I would I don't know I, I guess I was expecting him to just ask me a question when he came up to me I didn't know what he was going to say and I did not think that he was going to say that I was like saying to myself even if I was single I would not have gone out with him because he's not my type you know but he was he was a nice person just paying me a compliment you know I appreciate the compliment but I'm looking at my body, and if I was single, I would be like, oh, I don't think I want to date because I'm not, I got to get my body together because, you know, for myself, you know, for my health. But if I was single, I would really not want to go out because of how my body and all this weight looks. I would feel very insecure going out, but I'm happily married, and that's all there is to it. So he respected that. So, anyway, I just thought that was funny. <laughs> but, anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to go in because I've got to go to the bathroom. So, when I come back in, I'm going to show you guys what I bought. Okay, I'm back from my oncology appointment, and it went well. Hold on, I've got to put this hand sanitizer on my hands, you guys, because i got to put the phone down just a moment. Real quick, I'm going to share with you what I got from Rite Aid. Um, oh, let me track, backtrack. Uh, my appointment went very, very well. She said, I'm doing good. No lumps. She didn't find anything. And I'm like, you, you weren't going to find anything. I wasn't expecting you to find anything just to go over my mammogram and any issues that I have. So everything went fine. So anyway, I picked up this cute little, uh, spoon, Christmassy spoon. I think it's so adorable in green green and white spoon rest you know for your um your stove so the one i have at home is white and i don't have anything christmasy so i thought that would be really cute and rite aid has 75 percent off all of their christmas decor so i got this for a dollar 99 you can't beat that then i picked up and i hope this works some command strips I hope this works because I really need to try to hang something on my mantle. Oh, this is the command strip. I just hope it works. I didn't know if I wanted to get the hook or just the strip itself. Then I picked up some wrapping paper. And this is really cute. It's um, green, white, and red. How cute is that? And it's, what, 40 feet so this should be enough to wrap everything that I have, okay? And it's not a whole lot. And last but not least, and I'm so, so excited about this. This is what I got for my daughter's dog. It's a Holiday Pet Santa costume. OMG! Isn't that cute? That is too cute. Look at that. This was 75% off as well. OMG, look at the little legs. 
the cute little belt and the little sleeves oh my gosh and then it has a little hat on the back omg and it looks like a little cape let me see see all because i don't have my mount i can't use two hands oh this is just no no this is the way it goes it slips over him like so you know his body goes through there and it just this covers his body you know the back of his body his back so i just thought this was so cute look at this little hat isn't that the cutest thing you have ever seen yeah you know you know i need a grandchild <laughs> i need a grandchild because i'm acting like this dog is my grandchild oh my gosh it's just too cute look at that ah oh, isn't that so adorable so um i just wanted to get it and i'm hoping she'll come by and pick it up soon but anyway i'm going to make another stop somewhere i'm going to go visit my mother as well and then i'm going to go home so uh is there anything else i want to say to you guys before that yeah hubby's gonna have to get some gas because we're down to 29 miles or 29 gallons i should say yeah 29 miles that i can drive hi jazzy green this is the next day and i'm a little upset and i'm a little shaken up just a little bit Whew, i need to calm down breathe liz breathe all is well uh all is well i'm on my way to go get my nails done because i haven't got my nails done in about a year maybe more than that I'll tell you guys i was in the garage warming up the car which i forgot hubby already had used it so i did not have to warm it up and i got in the car and i had not started it yet the car i had not started it but this guy, I look at my rear view mirror and he's walking up real sneaky. And I thought, oh, this camera. I thought that he was going to take something in our garage. Because he bent down and it looked like he had taken something. So I blew the horn and startled him. And uh, then I opened the door. I said, what are you doing? You know, like that. And... I continued to blow the horn because I wanted to get my husband's attention because he was already inside the house and that was the main that was the main reason why I was blowing the horn to get his attention uh, yeah but I knew it was gonna um, start with a guy and just his presence because I think he was a, a bum and uh, I'm just shaking up. I, he had put his shoes, and they're not my son's shoes. They're not my husband's shoes. He placed them down inside of our garage or outside, somewhat inside, with some socks. And my husband, he said, hey, partner, you know, come get your shoes. But the guy was acting weird. He was <laughs> he was backing up, and he, he had actually walked away from our garage and my husband's using a firm voice with him. He said, "Hey, but you can't you you can't leave these shoes here. This is not this is yours. Come get your stuff." But you know, he couldn't make him get it. Oh, I gotta hurry him get a tripod. This is not gonna work. No more vlogs until I get a tri tripod thing. Found phone mount mount. Sorry guys, I can't talk. <laughs> Shake it up. And um. So, you know, the guy wouldn't come back. He wouldn't get his shoes. I guess he was afraid. And he was dressed like a bum, so he probably was. And and that's the thing. I'm going to call our uh, HOA, the Housing, um, what is it called? Homeowners Association. That's what it is. I'm going to call them because they still have uh, a gate open. We have two gates that you can enter in. And one of them has been open for over a week, maybe two weeks. We don't know why, but I'm going to call them first thing in the morning because now it's about four. No, no, it's not. It's about three. Well, you know what? They're still open. I could call them. Maybe I'll have hubby call them because I've got to get my nails on. 
um, call the um, homeowners association or whoever the, the people are that we should be calling. I'm just so shaken up. I'm upset. Don't know which way to turn the car to go because I don't know what nail place I'm going to. But anyway, and let them know what happened and just kind of like put a bug in the ear. Hey, you need to keep these gates closed because just people can walk up and walk on into the property like he just did because I know that guy does not live here. What in the world is he doing here in the first place? Uh, hold on, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. I tell you. Uh, mm, mm, mm. So, yeah, we're going to call. If we don't make it to call today... We're going to call first thing in the morning. And I mean first thing in the morning. And let them know they need to close these these gates. Keep the gates closed. Now, if it's malfunctioned, then they need to do something and get it fixed. I just have to breathe and take a deep breath. And I'll do that when I get parked. I don't know what nail place to go to. Lord have mercy. Mm, mm, mm. I see a nail place over there on the right. I don't know if I want to go to it. Oh, boy. But anyway, let me get off of that topic and tell you guys. The reason why I'm, I'm upset, um, well, of course, that's one reason. But the other reason I'm upset is I am participating in the black and gold tablescape. You know, hosted by the ladies of elegance. Oh no, I don't know about this this place. Ooh, no, not this nail salon. I'm sorry, this this building don't even look right. Mm -mm, nope. Let me show you guys. Look at it. it says custom nail spa. And part of the A is gone. And look in the window. It looks tacky. Good morning, Jersey Greens. It's the next day, and of course, I'm back from my nail appointment. Well, I didn't have an appointment. I just walked in. But let me show you my nails. That's how they look. Kind of like in the reddish um, burgundy. Not burgundy, but it's like a deep red. And let me see. The guy did, he did just average. I'm not... Um, <clears throat> I'm not that impressed with his work, especially on this thumbnail. Because over here in the corner, he, he just didn't shape my nails, you know, 100% the way I like it. And I like them longer, but I couldn't get them longer. They, they charge too much when you get them longer. But it's been a long time since I got my nails done, and I just had to break out and get them done. So... That's how they're looking. But I'm about to have some breakfast this morning. I got me some blueberries. But they're frozen. I like to freeze mine. I don't know why they just seem to be nice like that. Nice and crunchy. But I put it in my mouth and let it melt. And it's so good. Frozen. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm going to get me a bowl, put them in. So how's the start of your day? You guys doing okay today? This is actually Wednesday, Wednesday morning. <laughs> so I'm going to get some of these. Mmm. They're frozen and very cold. I just get like a, a handful, but I'm taking my fingers, so I can't get the handful I want. I just do it like this. <clears throat> and then, let me see. 
I guess that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. And put it back in the freezer. And then I let me show you this. These are my blueberries. That's how they look. Nice and delicious. And then I have some yogurt. Some so delicious dairy-free coconut milk blueberry yogurt. It's so good. Just like it says, so delicious. It's so good. So delicious. So that's what I'm going to have. And... I'm going to warm me up some coffee in my gingerbread mug. I've already got the coffee in here. So all I have to do is just warm it up. And that will be breakfast. Early morning breakfast. <clears throat> oh, got to get me a spoon. And that's how it looks. Oops, I don't want to spill it. <laughs> you guys see it. Let me get a spoon. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my breakfast. And in a little bit, I'm going to show you guys how I decorate my... Well, I'm going to be decorating some plain boxes to put up under my tree. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture I could see if I just close my eyes. Have the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it speeds To the future fearlessly Charging forward when I open my mouth Though I may not know how I know I was born to sing Travel the world Raise baby girls
I need me some good wigs. I'm gonna fix this. <laughs> I need me a front lace wig. The ones where they are so much better. But anyway, the people in this uh, complex, this townhome complex where I live, some of them are really nice and some of them are kind of not so nice. But I feel sorry for this guy. He was uh, carrying his trash bin. He was walking into the trash and he's a little d disabled and uh, he was walking so gentle and it just looked so sad. I wanted to show you guys, but I couldn't get the camera turned around fast enough. But anyway, I'm getting ready to fix hubby some lunch, <laughs> late lunch, because it is afternoon. Um, some fried potatoes and some i think fried egg something like that that's what he wants and it was something there was a reason why i walked this way is i wanted to show you guys something or i was going to do something now i lost my train of thought mm, mm, mm. holy spirit bring to my remembrance what was it <laughs> well it's gonna have to come back on me um yeah we went to the grocery store last night and um i didn't show you guys a haul but i might show you just a little bit <clears throat> of what we picked up not a lot um we didn't really pick up anything too too exciting just a few things for christmas dinner so i'll see what i can do to show you that but right now i'm getting ready to fix his uh lunch okay Get some oil. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture I could see if I just close my eyes. Now this is what you use when hubby's not around. This grabber. <laughs> this thing works, I tell you guys. <laughs> I just pull it close enough to me, the item, and then I just reach up from the, you know, the cabin and bring it down myself. Cash brown with peppers and onions. cooking i just want to show you this grocery haul we just got a few things we got some ca <clears throat> Ooh, cabbage big head of cabbage some tortillas for the enchiladas that i'm going to be making for christmas i'm going to be making some beef enchiladas and cheese enchiladas i don't know how many i'm going to make we'll see the cheese enchiladas will be for me because i don't eat meat and you guys know that so got that, some all-purpose flour, bell pepper, a little bit of 
uh, butter, Imperial. We've got some, what is that, Al Pastor enchilada sauce, and I think I should have picked up another one. But I did get some smaller cans of enchilada sauce. That's great value. And I wanted to try this because I don't eat meat. I wanted to try this chili, plant-based triple bean chili. Mmm. I really hope it tastes as good as it looks. I tell you because it's hard to find plant-based meals. You know, they have some things in the store, but not everything I can pick up. So I hope that's good. And then this big, large ground beef chuck for the enchiladas. So anyway, that's what we get. That's what we got. <laughs> oh, one other thing. Aaron made this chocolate cake, and I have not tasted it. I kind of want to stay away from these things. I'm not even tempted to eat any. Can you believe it? But I think he wants me and his dad to try it because he made it. So I I'll try it. I just don't want it to wake up my taste buds. <laughs> so that's not good. But anyway, I may take my mother a slice of this. She may like it, but it looks so good. He did a good job on this. I mean, it really looks good. Yum, yum. Good job, Aaron. Doesn't this look good? Yum, yum. Completely done. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I hope he enjoys this. This looks so good. You guys can't tell that good because uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. And the lighting is a little bit off. But this is so good. You might as well say this is breakfast. This, this is more brunch. So anyway, that's it. That's what he's going to have for... Uh, brunch and I'm going to have nothing. Just enjoy my cup of coffee. <laughs> See right here in the corner, this is where that guy came and stood here. Right here by this cart, by the edge of the uh, of the garage. He stood right here and put those pair of shoes right there. And I'm like, what are you doing, guy? This car is dirty. Come on, hubby. Time to clean the car. <laughs> oh, I just closed the door and locked it. <laughs> I'm waiting for hubby to come out. <laughs> I don't have any fear, but I had to... It tried to creep up on me coming out of here to get in this car. And these lenses are dirty. Lens are dirty. But yeah, to fight the fear, I'm like, no, 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 no. No weapon formed against me will prosper. That guy is not coming back here. I don't think he wants to come back here, especially after me blowing the horn crazy like that. <laughs> and then hubby coming out. <laughs> but anyway, I'm done with that. I'm not going to talk about that anymore. I just thought of it when I opened the door to come out into the garage. And I lifted it up and I stood there because I was trying to gather my purse and my glasses. And instantly I thought of him. So I said, no, nah, no, nah, you get in that car. I just, I have it all locked, so I feel good. And if he would, he or anybody else would try to come in here, I can see him. But anywho, we are going to, I don't know if I'm going to take you guys in or not. Probably not, but we have a couple of errands to run. I've got to go by the P.O. Box, check my mail, and got to go by Walmart and pick up some medication for me. And I'm going to go into 
99 cent store and see if that car mount is there and if it's there i'm gonna pick it up my it better work my friend said it would work because as you can see i'm in the passenger seat hubby's driving and then tonight guys i mean it's a little exciting and you guys have probably seen christmas lights before but we're going to drive through this uh neighborhood i'm not sure not a neighborhood it's a park one of our local parks are having a um show the lights type of um thing so we're going to drive by and see the lights so i'll take you guys i'll see you on the road when hubby comes on out Okay, I'm in the 99 cent store and I haven't been in here in so long. So let's look at some of the Christmas items. Oh, they have some pretty things here. And I'm telling you, they better have that phone mount type thing. So we will see.
guys I found this universal car mount it says windshield and dashboard um, phone holder for the car for $3.99 and we're gonna see if this thing works okay it kind of looks deformed <laughs> I just really hope it works it's supposed to uh, turn you know 360 degrees but yeah, we're going to see if this works and it's supposed to go on the dashboard or I guess you could put it on the, the windshield. And I don't know where to put it. I'm not sure where I should put it. But I know I better get ready because wherever I put it, I think that's going to have to stay there. I happened to see this stocking and I liked it. So I picked it up. It was $1.49. It's white or gray. I think it's so pretty. It's like a sweater material and it's just pretty. $1.49 not bad and then one other thing last item I picked up it's just some um, dish towels nothing exciting about those mm. we needed some more and this was a dollar forty nine dollar forty nine or dollar ninety nine I think that says $1.99. My phone's about to fall out of my hand. It comes with two grays, two whites, which I don't like the white because they get stained really good, you know, with uh, dishes. And then it comes with green. Stop. These cars don't want to stop. Two green colors. Sorry for the shaking of this phone. This is not good. Well, I'm sitting in the car in the dark, as you guys can see. Hubby went into Vaughn's to get something right quick. You know what? <laughs> I'm just going to smile. I'm going to smile. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take this. Um, where is it? Hold on. You see this? No. Absolutely not. It's a darn fail. I'm disappointed. Well, I didn't put it on the dashboard or the windshield yet. And not even yet. I'm not even going to do it. Because it won't hold my phone in the cradle very secure. It will not do it. It's kind of a little... It, it's lopsided. It, it, it shakes. I tightened it up the way you're supposed to. Mm -mm. I tilted it upside down just to see how stable the phone would stay in the little cradle area. But nope. I'm not even going to take a chance. I'm not even going to try to mount it on the dashboard or the windshield because of that. <sighs> okay, 99 cent store. You're going to get your product back. The guy said, just bring it back, have your um, your receipt, and that's what I'm going to do. Tomorrow morning is going back. I'm going to get my $4 back and save that towards buying one from, I don't know, Amazon or something. 
and I'm holding you guys up with my hand and it's getting tired. <laughs> um, I didn't want to have to order it online because you have to pay for shipping and handling. I didn't want to do that. I want to save money. I mean, normally I do order things online, but I just didn't want to do that this time. And if I were to go into another store, um, Best Buy or something, I don't know. Their prices may be a little higher. I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm just very frustrated over this car mount thing. I can't vlog until I get one. <coughs> I'm going to have to do something. And something quick. <laughs> but anyway, it is almost 6 o'clock in the evening. And I always got to look around, pay attention to my surroundings. I'm always doing that, especially at night. As soon as hubby gets out the, the car, click, I lock the door. That's just how I am, and it's, it's good to be like that. You know, you want to make sure you are safe at all costs. But he shouldn't be in there but a few minutes if, it, if, if there's no line. So, we're going to eat dinner as soon as we get home. I've got to prepare something. I don't know what I'm going to fix. Well, at least for me, I'm going to have a salad. I might have... Um, I don't know, salad and what else? If I make a hearty salad, put the real good things in there, which I have no beans cooked, so I won't be able to put that in there. I had that can of chili that I showed you guys earlier, but I don't know, chili with salad? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Soup and salad, yes, and I had that yesterday. It was good. <coughs> but I don't know about chili. Because, oh, this lady, gosh. Ooh. She pulled up into this stall. I mean, I thought she was going to hit the pole. People are just not stopping. The stop signs and, and light posts and every other thing. They're not stopping like they should. But anyway, um, I hope you guys liked the... Um, what was it? The do uh, Not Dollar Tree, 99 cents... Christmas decor. They have some really nice things there. Really nice things. And But I didn't see any gingerbread. I want some gingerbread men. Just two of them. Cute little brown gingerbread men. I just want to have those. Maybe next year I can get them if you know I start well I started to go back into Target but I just feel like they're all bought up. I don't think anybody is going to have any more gingerbread men. You know, the little plush, little toy type things. Everybody has bought them. And when they came out, I, need, I didn't go to the store right away. And that's my fault. So, I just probably missed out. Yep. Slow me. Bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-bum-
there's some YouTubers who do vlogs and hey, they're right on. I mean, they have a lot going on and I get inspired by watching them. But, you know, I can only do what I can do. Always be aware of your surroundings. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air that every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas all around All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas 